And you want to determine now first the shape of the lips. Uh, you can actually change the shape of the lips by using concealer or foundation. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to apply a little bit of a concealer just along the outer corners of her lips to really give them a nice point and make them go upward more. Now this also helps with keeping the lipstick in place so that it doesn't bleed because I'm going to, going to apply powder now, a loose powder right above that to set it and prevent the lip color from bleeding. Now I'm going to start out with a lip liner in a very neutral color. This is the Kevin O'Quan lip liner in medium. You want the lip liner to be a couple of shades deeper than your natural lip. So you want to line all around the entire lip. Now taking a clean brush, I'm going to blend that liner up towards the center of the lip a little bit. Same with the top part, I'm going to blend it down towards the center of the upper lip. Having the center of the lips a little bit lighter than the outer side of the lips is going to create a bigger lip, a more pouty lip. Now I'm going to go into a creamy lipstick. I'm going to use a soft peachy beige sort of shade and apply that to both bottom and top lips. And if I want to lighten up the lip, if I want to lighten up the lip color a little bit, I can go over it in the center here with foundation or concealer just to give it more of a nude, muted color. And we finish off the lips with a very nude lip gloss from Tom Ford. I'm going to apply that on the center and blend it towards the outer corners. There you have it. To summarize the um, nude lip, what we did was we reshaped the lips a little bit by adding concealer to the outer corners here to lift up the lips into a point. And we also applied powder over that to prevent the lipstick and the lip gloss from bleeding. Then we lined the lips on the top and bottom, blended that into the center of the lip and applied a very nude lipstick with a nude lip gloss on the center of the lip on the top and bottom. You want to always start out with using a little bit of product and building on top so you can prevent messing up. If you use too much product or if you go too dark or heavy, you're not going to be able to go backwards. Um, so you always want to start out, like I did, using very little product and building on top to create more of a finished dramatic look. So here we have it, a beautiful smoky eye. She's ready for a night out in the town or to hit the red carpet.